today is Tuesday. It's the afternoon. I'm just finishing up some computer stuff. And tomorrow morning, bright and early, we go to Children's Hospital, Colorado, and check in at a 6 a.m. for a 7.30 a.m. ear tube procedure for little Carmi. So, I'm actually not as nervous as I thought I was gonna be. Um, I think, you know, we've just talked to the pediatrician about this for months now, and when we went for the consult at Children's, they provided so much information. This is a procedure Brandon had, like, you know, however many years ago when he was a little baby. A lot, I know a lot of people that have had it themselves or their kids have had it. Um, and basically, it takes eight to 10 minutes max. They told us we wouldn't even have time to go downstairs and get coffee, so I just keep telling myself that. Um, you know, anytime you have to think about your kid going under, it's super scary and when she had her orbital cellulitis and her big eye infection in December and we were in the hospital and she had to get so many attempts at IVs that were all failed basically except for the fourth one um, that it was just really traumatizing for all of us. Um, so we've worked a lot since then on playing with doctor items. Sounds like a strong heart. I'd say he had the biggest heart. And watching doctor videos, reading doctor books. Um, and she's gotten a lot better when we go like into doctor situations. She talks about the ears. Remember the doctor? What do they do? They look at our ears. Oh, she knows the word medicine. She takes her medicine. So that's just a sign of like how much medicine she's had to take from all of her ear infections over the last couple years, so a year and a half. So they'll go in and just put some little tubes in her eardrum so that air can flow in basically um, and avoid the fluid buildup and stop that from happening, stop the infection. So I'm just about to go to Target and get her a Cocomelon doll now so that she has it tomorrow morning for the car ride and so that um, she has something special. Okay, it's about 12.30 and we're home. Everything went really well this morning. You know, we had a really early check-in at 6. She was the first appointment of the day. Her procedure was at 7.30. For her age, being the first procedure of the day was huge because she couldn't eat anything past... She couldn't eat anything this morning for breakfast. She couldn't drink any water. Um, and usually we eat breakfast right away at like, you know, 6.45 for her, 7 for her. So I was worried about that, but she did totally fine. There was, you know, obviously a lot going on at the hospital. Like when we got there, she was busy enough to just be distracted. She didn't even ask for water or food. She got, you know, a little upset at first. She gets triggered when she sees the doctors, you know, because of the hospital visit we had in December of last year. But um, overall, it went really well there for sure. It just sucks when you know your kid is when you like have to hand over your kid to someone <clears throat> and you know she's going to be in distress and upset and scared and um but the procedure went well the tubes are in she woke up t pretty fine a little emotional but we saw her very soon within like less than a minute than of her waking up we were with her and she laid on me put her head down settled then she laid on daddy and fell asleep while we were still in the recovery room on the drive home she did throw up all of her water and juice that she drank after she came out of the anesthesia when she was finally allowed to have some liquids she had some liquids and then on the car ride home she threw them all up we said it was likely to happen because of the anesthesia that she might feel nausea or throw up and i had a feeling she would when we got home she was a little fussy and she kept you know kind of talking about her ears but she mostly just wanted to cuddle on us and sit and lay she had some crackers, bunch of bland food, blueberries, which are her favorite right now. Brandon just put her down for her nap. And these little kitties must have known I needed some love. One cat, two cat. Don't mind the dirty dresser. Look, we got one cat. <laughs>
Carmi's recovery was super quick, like that evening and the next morning, swinging, running, jumping, and playing. It wasn't long before we were back to all our normal activities as a family. Hi. Hi. Carmi is playing in her pantry and I'm trying to figure out what we're making for dinner. And I think I'm going with gluten-free pasta bolognese. Gluten-free me? Brandon sensitive. Don't eat that. Yoga mornings. Can you say da more coffee? Da Daddy's coffee? More daddy. <laughs> more coffee, that's right, girl. Baby Costco. Can you say Costco, Carmi? Baby's second Costco. Picnic in the park. Picnic in the park. Okay, now we're wasting. It's like 87 degrees here today. We're lucky that we live just like a stone's throw from so many little playgrounds. So on the days that Carmi's not in daycare, we're here a lot. What are you doing? What are you doing? It was too hot. I was in sweatpants. Hello! Hello! Ah, rah, 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 rah. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? You got poop. Okay. Can you blow kisses? What's a monkey say? 